first one for Jemai. Uh, you and Zakai made some of those big defensive plays, and I guess you had the offensive rebound as well uh, there that really sparked a, a run for you guys to take a lead that you all never surrendered. How big were those plays? And you know, you and Zakai being energy guys, how much does your energy you bring to the team? How important do you feel that is? Um, it was huge, um, in my opinion. Uh, I feel like you can feel the energy whether you were playing or whether you were watching. And I think that's just what we do. You know, it's definitely what I do, and it's definitely what I take pride in. I feel like I can affect the game no matter what, whether I'm scoring or whether I'm not. I'm gonna be able to affect the game, and that's what I knew coming into this type of environment that I was gonna be able to do. Just light the crowd up, light our teammates up, and you know, have fun. Don, what was working so well for you there to start the second half, and what was your mindset coming out of the locker room? Uh, just getting downhill. Uh, just, I mean. Big shout out to my, like, my teammates just for getting me uh, in those type of situations and the coaching staff for putting me in the right spots. So it's just more towards getting downhill and trying to get to the free throw line or just get layups. So Grant, Mike, Rob, and Ryan. Jim, is that the Santi kind of of old, those shots he's hitting, the, the passes he's making on those drives in the rim? How good is it to see that, I guess, Santi? One more time. Can you repeat? Is that Santi of old kind of oh. the plays he's making tonight? No, he, you know, Santi's a special player. Um, I feel like it's the, it's still the same thing, and I still feel like he was trying to find his way in, in his role. And Sa Santi's just amazing on both ends. You know, you can put him in, in any type of lineup, and he's going to make it work. Um, I think he's great at getting guys shots and drawing defenses and then knocking down shots himself. Um, and he I, he's really well at getting downhill. So I think it wasn't really a surprise to me that Santi had a great game. I think it's kind of the same thing. He doesn't need to score. Um, and Santi's a unique player. so. I wasn't surprised at all by how he he, he performed today. Jemai, I guess what was your favorite play you made today, or, or most play that might have felt the most important to you throughout that game? Um, that's tough. Uh, I think the a lot of the possessions where Terrence wasn't touching the ball, um, it seemed like they kind of got away from it and they they tried to run through some somebody else. Plays like that, I think, is something that a lot of people don't notice. Um, obviously, he's, I think, their leading scorer. He, you know, he's had a, lo a lot of great games. But when you can get a team to try and go away from that and look for different options, that means what you're doing on that guy is working. And in my head, that was the main goal for me, it was to just try and get them to try and look for other, other options rather than their go-to. So I, I have to say, just those plays alone, him not touching the ball or them trying to get other options are big, big plays, in my opinion. Dalton, you had to sit a little in the first half with two fouls. Was that a focal point? Did you want to come out and start quick in, in the second half because you scored you know, 12 points in a hurry? And what was it like in just playing in front of the home crowd in a big game like this for the first time? I mean, it was, it was just electric that whole entire time. I mean, the crowd came out and showed love just like all the other times. But it was just something special just going out and hearing that the arena sold out and they're coming to bring that energy for us. and. Ultimately, I feel like that's what gave me that push is uh, like watching Shag diving on the floor, Z diving on the floor, just bringing energy. The crowd gets into it, and then all of us get into it, and we bring in energy every single time. Jemai, Rod talked to us yesterday about how they've asked you to do a bunch of different things with your role. It's kind of changed, and you were still trying to figure some of that out. And then Rick told us he thought today was the best example of you giving playing to your role you know, perfectly. You know, what kind of do you think has led to that, and how hard has it been? Um, I think it's, you know, it's been very difficult to try and figure out your role. I think, you know, just since I've been here, I've changed so much and I have to fit into so many different gaps and lineups and, you know, different positions. But that's what I'm, you know, that's what I was made to do. You know, I'm not running from any challenge no matter what. And I have the confidence that I can adjust. Um, big thing for me and, you know, I think the main thing that if you think of Jemai Meshack, you think of resilience. And I have that, you know, through and through. So no matter where they want me on the court, no matter who they want me to guard, no matter how they want me to score, I also feel like I could have got some more catch and shoot threes as well because I've been really confident in that. But I knew that how the game was going, I knew that we were trying to get downhill. So that's what I did. So just adjusting to my game, being resilient, that's just who I am, man. So you can put me anywhere and I'm going to figure it out and we'll be successful.
Uh, BK, uh, 21 points on 50% shooting. It, it seemed like you welcomed the defense most of the time. Uh, even off, sh off the dribble, most of your shots were heavily contested. Is that something you prefer to have a, a hand right in your face as opposed to getting it right op open on catch and shoot? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I like shooting contested shots. I feel like, I don't know why, I just feel like I shoot better, but I mean, they were playing great defense, and I mean, I play against Shaq every single day. Me and him be playing one-on-one -on -one all the time, and he'd be making me work for it. So, I mean, shout out to him, because he'd be pushing me all the time. So, I feel like I just play out confident, and my teammates got tons of confidence in me. So, it's credit to all my teammates, and as well as the coaching staff. Jamai, um, I think you can see how close-knit you are with the energy that you guys all share, especially on a play like, um, when uh, Zakai got the ball out to Jonas for the, or uh, um, not not Jonas, but for the for the fast break Still slam, just him. right. Yeah. Um, where does that? How special is that to have a unit that is always rooting for one another? Um, it's very unique, um, and it's I think it's something that a lot of our teammates don't take for granted. Um, being in this locker room, we know that we're playing for each other. Um, just like Dalton said, we're competing against each other every day in practice. When you do it like how we do it, you're going to grow some connections. You're going to get close to a lot of these guys. Um, like I said, I've seen the way our, t our team is built. You know, I've seen our character. And plays like that just shows it you know, out on the court. So it wasn't really a surprise to me just how that energy goes. And I still feel like it's, you can put any lineup out there, and they're going to be effective. Um, but obviously, I'm confident in my abilities. I'm confident in you know, the way Zakai has run the team and his energy that he brings. Um, so I definitely feel like that's unique. But no matter what, we're going to come out there. We're going to bring energy. And we're going to try our best to come out with a win. You guys have obviously been through a gauntlet through the season, first ranked win of the season. Coming out on that side, what is the, uh, the reflection of this team to get that style of win today and then your favorite dunk of the game? You got it. <laughs> um, I think this is it. It was an important win for us. Um, I, I, I feel like our main thing was just making sure that we weren't peaking early. And I think we have a lot of potential with this team. Um, just to see how versatile we are with how many lives we can put out there, it, it, you know, it separates us from a lot of teams who really have to stick with one lineup in order to be successful. So when you look at it like that, you can go into a game. If you need shooting, we have shooting. You need rebounding, we have rebound defense, we have it. So just being able to fill all those categories, I think, is important. Um, and then you said which dunk? Yeah. Uh, dunk. Mm. Did you have a dunk today? No, I definitely didn't. You didn't have a dunk today? No, sorry, I got Whatever two. dunk Dalton has, that's going to be my favorite. <laughs> so he didn't have one today. Um, so I have to say Jonas is dunk. Um, this is birthday week weekend. So he definitely, I thought he was going to pull out a windmill or something, but he didn't. <laughs> This can be for either one of you guys, given the games that y'all have played already and given players kind of coming back from injury or, or, or getting hurt and missing a game. Does it finally feel like y'all are at full strength and, and this is kind of the Tennessee that people can expect to see moving forward? Um, I feel like no matter who we put on the floor, we're going to go out and perform. I mean, we all practice really hard and compete really hard. And uh, when we went out to Maui, like we – like we uh, played really tough teams, and we got to watch film and learn from our mistakes. And I feel like we're just going to get that much better every single time. Every single game, we're going to get that much better practice. So I feel like over time, we're just going to get uh, overall better. I definitely feel like we're scratching the surface as a team. I don't think this is nowhere near as good as we can be. Um, I think it was some obviously some little things that we could have done better in this game when you look back at it. So. The fact that we play this well and, you know, we're just now scratching the surface, it's a lot of room to grow. And I think that just makes us even more exciting because when it's time to really win, when we get into March, when we get into, the, you know, regular season and the big games start becoming bigger, I think that's when you're really going to see how much our team has improved. But like DK said, you can, we're going to compete. We can put anybody out there. We're going to compete. But we're going to continue to get better. There's a lot of room for improvement, and we're going we're gonna to get it. Jemai Rick's been talking a lot about rebounding this season. What was different today compared to maybe those first couple of games to start the season on the glass? Um, I think for us was a, a big part of it is just getting to know your teammates. You know, when you kind of, especially for me, when I know my teammates' tendencies and when they like to shoot, when they don't like to shoot, it helps us get ready to try and go in for those rebounds. 
when you kind of don't know when those shots are going, it kind of can throw you off and you don't get to the board as fast. But, you know, just being around DK, being around Santi, JG, Joe, Z, Jonas, you know when those guys are going to shoot. It makes it really easy to get to, those, get to that glass. The other team doesn't know, but you do. So it makes it that much easier to get to the glass. And then, you know, in the beginning of games, they're going to rebound, they're going to box out. When you get towards the middle of games and when you get towards the second half and guys start getting tired and they start thinking of other things and I don't like the way they get, that's when you get them. So I think it was important for us knowing that if you just keep on going to the glass, they were gonna, they were gonna break and it's hard to keep that up for a whole game. So just making sure that we find, find those uh, little areas to get to the boards, it's gonna be important, but you know, we can do it. Carson, Ryan, Mike. Dalton, when you see a guy like Jemai make an infectious offensive rebound like that and then the ball gets back out to you and you hit a three, how much momentum do you feel like that kind of brings to the basketball game and helps you maybe with your shooting? I mean, it's big time. I mean, he does that all the, all the time in practice. So, I mean, it's a big time winning play. That, wouldn't, that three wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for him crashing. So, so big shout out to Shaq for that. Glad you gave him an assist. So, right. <laughs> Jemai, just as a team, is making shots something that's infectious? Absolutely, but that's not the only thing that's infectious for our team. Um, I think, you know, you can see that we haven't been hitting a lot of the shots that we wanted to. Um, but with that being said, that just creates more opportunity for rebounding, creates more opportunity to get to the free throw line and to get downhill. So I think it's a number of things that's infectious for us, our team. And um, of course, when you're making shots, everything's, you know, everything's great. But when you're not making shots, is how are you going to figure it out? How are you going to back, bounce back? What's the other schemes that you're trying to get to? So um, I think we have multiple things that, for us, can really be infectious. Defensive stops, rebounding, um, getting on the boards uh, on the defensive end, um, getting out in transition, getting to the free throw line. Stuff like that can get a team hyped up, and it can cause to leading shots. But it's not just the making shot. Uh, making shots parts that's important it's the stuff leading up to that so I think we just have different uh, different areas to improve and be infectious last one from Mike yeah. Dalton on that offensive rebound of Jemise you hit the three off what did you see as that play unfolded because I think you had a shot you missed got that ball like what was kind of the process of you seeing that play as it happened uh, I was just trying to be a, in a tag mode kind of coach told me just to try to get downhill as much as I can so I mean it was just big time rebound and I shot a three and made it so Big shout out to him for throwing it out and just hearing the crowd get energetic was, that was probably my favorite moment, uh, just hearing how loud the crowd gets in TVA. So I can't wait for more games to be like that. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.